everyone so I am back with a tutorial on how to embroider on the bunny rabbits ears um, on a PE 800 um, I've seen a, quite a few videos on how to do it so I thought I would try it out so this cute bunny is pretty big it is from Walmart it is one of the larger size it's not too big but it is, I will say this is the medium size. They do have some that's smaller and they do have the giant ones. So this bunny is going to be for my great niece and I'm going to go ahead and embroider on her ear. And so I just want to show you how I'm going to do this on my PE 800. So if you can see, I have um, the thread color already in there. I do have the bottom thread matching the top thread, the bobbin, so that because I am going to embroider straight through, I'm not taking the bunny ear apart. So I do have my stabilizer already hooped. And because I'm having a placement and making sure that the placement is together, there's some things that I did in my software already. But I'm going to go ahead and add this um, hoop this on my machine and show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put it on here first and so I have to bring up the design. It's going to move. And so I have her name loaded and I'm going to have to select the USB that I have it loaded on. Let me get my little stylus here. So anything that you have on your USB is going to give you the hour glass until it comes up. I do have some other designs on there that I'm going to have to delete, but <clears throat> just for this purposes, um, you can see what I have and here is the design and that is her name is going to come up and set. So there it is. That is her name, Aria. And I'm going to kind of zoom in so you can see. So I have it positioned so it's in the middle of the hoop and it's going uh, vertical. And so that would be the direction. And one of the steps that I added, and I am using the Embroident software. So one of the steps that I added was doing a basting stitch. And I had to learn how to use the basting stitch for placement. So I'm going to go ahead and let that stitch out. So gonna drop the presser foot and click oh I have to do set because it is ready it's in there and I'll go ahead and hit embroider and it's coming up it has two steps one the basin stitch and then the thread color I changed the basin stitch to white so that it wouldn't stitch straight through to the next color which will happen if you don't change the colors so since it is green i'm going to go ahead and press start so this basting stitch right here is going to let me know where to place the bunny rabbit ear and make sure that it is centered um, correctly in the hoop right there so it's stopped and I'm gonna take this off the hoop so you can see this is a placement for the basing stitch and where I'm gonna put the bunny rabbit ear so I'm gonna have it centered in there because her name is gonna take up that full area. And before I put the bunny on there, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some adhesive and get the bunny rabbit together here on the design. Now the adhesive spray that I'm using is this 505 temporary adhesive. So I use that 
to do a temporary hold on my hoop. Okay. So I'm going to put this back on the hoop. And get the bunny in a position where, since I am putting her name on one ear and the year on the other, I have to make sure it's in the right direction and I have enough space to do it. So this is the spacing. Uh oh. Just gonna take up all of this space here. Just gonna hit that corner. Sure is in there so I am using a two inch font on here as a matter of fact it's actually a three inch font um, it is by Stitchtopia and I'll have the name of the font in the description box below and so here I've made sure that every part of um, the area is inside of the hoop and I'm not really worried about this top corner because her is the lower case so as long as it's in there and the top and the bottom exactly and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'll do the placement to make sure I have the spacing correct so I'm gonna come back I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit like where the very top that is where it's going to hit at the very top of the A with the curl right there. And then I'm going to hit the bottom. And you see that it's going to hit there at the very bottom. So I am in good spacing. I'm going to put it back in the center. And then I'm going to hit OK. And I do have to add, I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, water soluble topping on here. So let me grab that. So I have this water soluble topping from, I got from Amazon, I believe, from Amazon. I'll go ahead and cut a piece of that just so that none of the bunny ear will stick up and this design is going to go back to the basing stitch again. And I actually can cut some of that because it's a lot hanging off. I don't need all of this. Okay. So since I don't need all of that, I'm going to go ahead and do this basing stitch again. So I'll have a placement guide right there and I hit uh oh sorry embroider drop the presser foot it's gonna base it again just to hold that in place <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead it's flipped 
I have to come back out of here. I just realized that this is flipped. The design is flipped, so I do have to rotate. Come back. 